Hi all, welcome to episode four of Doorstep Science. Today we are joined by Dr. Aaliyah Pertle, who's going to talk to us about the role native parasitoid wasps play in controlling biosecurity threats. Hello, my name is Aaliyah. I am a research scientist at CSER, and I'd like to tell you about some very tiny pest managers and biosecurity officers. These are two bean crops that have been affected by the vegetable leaf miner fly, a notorious overseas pest to vegetables that can cause considerable damage to crops. One of these two plants has been treated with an insecticide, and the other has not. But the story is not as simple as it looks because it is actually the picture on the right that was treated. Vegetable leaf miner flies are naturally controlled by tiny parasitic wasps with a life cycle straight out of the movie Alien. If you aren't sure just how small we are talking, here's what they would look like standing next to a European wasp. Some of the details vary between species, but in general, the female wasps will lay an egg inside or on top of the body of a host fly larva. The wasp egg then hatches into a larva that begins feeding on the host while it is still alive, causing the host to slowly die. Eventually, the wasp larva pupates and emerges from the dead body of the host as an adult, completing the wasp's life cycle. These wasps are very sensitive to chemicals. If a chemical is applied that wipes out the wasps but does not remove all of the leaf miner, often due to the fly larvae being protected inside the leaf, then the pest is released from natural control with potentially devastating consequences. This is the scenario that has led to some extreme levels of crop loss overseas. The destructive potential of this fly comes in part from its wide host range, which includes many cultivated crops and ornamentals, and in part from its destructive feeding habits, where larvae tunnel through the leaf, creating leaf mines that interfere with a plant's photosynthetic ability and marketability, stunting and even killing plants. But ultimately, losses overseas have been ubiquitously associated with chemical mismanagement leading to the destruction of the parasitoid wasps. In 2015, the vegetable leaf miner reached the northern tip of Australia after moving down through the Torres Strait. It's been restricted in the town of Seisha in the northern peninsula area since then, giving us valuable time to prepare. Since 2017, Caesar has been leading a hort innovation project funded by the vegetable, nursery, and melons industries that has been building a broad preparedness plan for the vegetable leaf miner. One of the questions we aimed to answer was whether Australia's existing predator communities could mitigate this pest. We approached this question from a couple angles, including reviewing existing literature, as well as going out on surveys within the Torres Strait and Northern Peninsula area where the fly is currently found. And we surveyed beyond into growing regions where the fly might one day establish, all the while looking for these little parasitoid wasps that could play such a large role in controlling this pest. We made four survey trips to the Torres Strait and the NPA with very exciting results. We worked together with biosecurity officers from the Northern Australia Quarantine Strategy, as well as local community groups, including councils, ranger groups, and traditional landholder groups, who invited us to their community and school gardens, and here we found the wasps we were searching for. Within the Torres Strait and NPA, we found that the vegetable leaf miner is being controlled by at least six different parasitoid wasps, one of which, called Hemitarsinus, the second shown on the right with the amazing antler-like antennae, is already well known as one of the most important sources of biocontrol overseas. We also found a poorly studied Australian species called Zagramasoma, the beautiful striped wasp on the right, was the strongest player in the Torres Strait and NPA, doing the majority of control on each of our visits. Together, these wasps were killing up to 80% of the vegetable leaf miner flies in some areas we were searching. This is an impressive predator community for such a newly established pest, and we think this is largely thanks to the presence of a native leaf miner fly that had already been maintaining this community of generalist wasps. These wasps are not fussy eaters, and we're all more than happy to jump to this new fly upon its arrival. Heavy parasitism by these wasps has certainly played a large role in slowing the vegetable leaf miner's natural spread south. We found that this buffer of wasps extends all the way down the Cape York Peninsula, with native leaf miner flies maintaining healthy wasp populations nearly everywhere we looked. When we widened our lens to the rest of Australia, a review of literature told us that Australia has many native leaf miner flies that support as many as 50 different species of wasps. Some of these really important wasps, including Zagramasoma and Hemitarsinus, extend across the entire north-south range of Australia. In fact, this middle arrow here shows an active community of Zagramasoma, supported by native grass leaf miner, 
that we found outside of Condobolin, in New South Wales on a 45 degree day in the middle of the January 2019 heat waves, just happily ticking along. What this tells us is Australia is already equipped with diverse and abundant predators, and there will be no need to import biocontrol candidates. We just need to protect and foster what we already have. We already know from looking to stories overseas that predators like these parasitoid wasps are voracious pest managers that are key components within integrated pest management plans. But this project has also taught us that predators like these wasps can also act like tiny biosecurity officers, slowing the spread of exotic pests. We hope that by building more awareness for this pest and its parasitoid wasps, we can ensure our wasp communities are preserved, meaning we will be ready should the vegetable leaf miner ever establish in our growing regions. If you would like to learn more about the natural control of leaf miner flies via parasitoid wasps, Caesar has developed a leaf miner management plan and you can find a link in the video description. Thanks for listening. This project is a Hort Innovation investment funded through the melons, vegetable and nursery and gardens industry levies. Caesar would like to thank all project partners and supporters. You know who you are. Thanks for joining us today. On the next episode of Doorstep Science, we will be joined by Dr. Marielle Babineau, who will talk to us about insecticide resistance in the green peach aphid. Doorstep Science, it's our way of delivering good science straight to your door.